We're gonna see a castle, first Japanese castle, or lack of castle. <laughs> You'll see when we get there. Goodbye, Hakodati. Hello, Sendai. Also, goodbye to those cement bags. Take your skirt off, cancel your manicure, grow a mustache, and harden the f up. Gonna go meet John down at Tully's Coffee. Sorry, Starbucks. Just gonna drop the key off, and I'm gonna meet John at the train station. And I'm gonna get the Shinkan down from Hakodati to Amore down to Sendai. Let's do it. Demolition update. They're taking out the whole back wall now. Looks like they're gonna totally demolish it. Japan is so smart. Why reverse when you can get something to turn your car around for you? Got super lucky with the weather. It's all foggy or cloudy or hazy or whatever. It's actually a cruise ship. You can see right there. It's just come in overnight. Temperature today is gonna be around about sort of 19, 20 degrees, which is gonna be good. Gonna head to the Shinkan now and make our way down to Sendai. So as we depart Hokkaido, it's been really good. A lot of mountains, a lot of rivers, a lot of nature. A little bit more laid back than, a, than the rest of Japan. Just went to the toilet and my bag's still there. We love Japan. And we're about to go on my first Shinkansen, which is the bullet trains of Japan. See one here? To cut through the air at light speed. We should get to Sendai in two and a half, three hours apparently. Let's go on the Shinkan to Sendai. So we've arrived in Sendai. First looks a lot more crowded and built up than the previous two cities, a lot busier. We're gonna head to the hotel, drop off these monstrosities, and then we're gonna go explore. So we found our hotel, it's this green building. Looks cool. Hopefully it's better than the last hotel. The doors are metal. Well, considering this building was originally made in the late 30s, it's held, held up pretty well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting looking. Room tour, toilet, tub, very small. TV, John's bed, my bed. View of absolutely nothing. So we settled in, freshened up, and we're now on the hunt for lunch. We're gonna go to the main area where there's all the food and decide what we want to have for lunch. This reminds me of Singapore with all the greenery all over the streets. Very Singapore-esque. Green, 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 green. Everywhere. About three seconds and we had our meal. We got beef bowl and I got a green Fanta. Mine's like $5.90 for all that. I think that's good value. And John got the same but with an extra... I got kimchi, which is basically Onion, cabbage, sautéed in tomato. We're gonna to devour this because it's like 2.20 in the afternoon. We've been like on the train most of the day. Lunch was good, hit the spot. And now we're gonna to head to... Oba Castle, also known as Oberjo, which is basically a series of ruins at the top of Sendai with lovely stunning views. Hope you're all looking forward to it. We're gonna travel by Anishi Park and this wonderful mall you're currently in. And that should make up most of our day. Gonna see a castle, first Japanese castle. Or lack of castle. <laughs> You'll see when we get there. This mall just goes on forever. It's like a at least kilometer long. Outdoors, but undercover. It's a really good idea. But it just keeps going and going. Never trust a drug penguin. It's a lot similar to Odori Park in Sapporo. A massive long park going right through the middle of the city breaks up the buildings really really pretty so you can smoke you just can't walk or ride a bike and smoke well 
Sendai is definitely one of the greenest cities I've ever seen. Parklands stretch on for miles. So peaceful, lovely little river as well on the way to the castle. And I read that as you meant to leash up your poo as well. And your dog. These ramp things are everywhere. Very, very bike friendly. Stairs, bikes, stairs, bikes. I don't know what that was about. Apparently the water will get you. Tsunami warning. So we're nearly at Sendai Castle. This actually just ruins of a castle. This is apparently the gates on the way up. It's called the Shimizumon Gate Stone Wall. How do they build this thing? Look at the size of this wall. It's probably three or four stories high. Check out this stunning view of the Sendai city at Sendai Castle. So you got the ruins where the castle was. I'm not sure what happened, whether it burnt down or, or what, but yeah, that's where the castle was. Definitely getting the uh, samurai vibe in this town. Everything's got the samurai helmet on it. Boom, snack of the day. This is called a... Kana no Suki, otherwise known as a moon cake. They were designed to last a long time because the cakes themselves absorb a lot of oxygen and draw it towards the middle. So a long lasting confectionery with a long history. So it's probably a thousand years expired. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, this is fresh stuff. First uh, impressions are... Lots of plastic. Japan loves plastic. Plastic, plastic. Plastic. This was 166 yen at the top of Sendai Castle. Don't know if it's unique to the area or... It smells very nice. It smells a bit eggy. It smells a bit like an egg style pancake. Mm, it's very light. It's definitely got like a, um, a yolky sort of inside to it. It's like custardy sort of egg. I don't know again. Yeah, it's not too sweet. It's sort of a sponge egg custard consistency. Yeah, it's a nice mild sweetness. Doesn't dominate the um, tongue with any particular flavours. It's just nice. Decent value. Does the job. Uh, three and a half stars yep. out of five. I'd give it three and a half out of five. There you go. The moon cake. Snack of the day was a success. We definitely got in a good time. There's an army of students going to the same point we were at like 10 minutes ago. In the shadows of this monument and this eagle, John's gonna do word of the day. Today's word of the day is Minami, which is Japanese for south, cause that is the direction of travel we are doing as we steadily move down Japan. So Minami, see the hawk. I wonder if I can get a close up zoom in. Can you see the Japanese hawk? If anyone can let me know what that Buddha is called, leave it in the comments below. Sendai Castle, definitely would recommend. Great view over the city of Sendai. Great history, that was amazing. Where are we going to now, John? We are going to Sendai Media Feek, which is a combination of library and art museum. It's a building mostly made out of glass with these really unique steel pillars. That's earthquake proof. Everyone has to see when they come to Sendai, even if they just briefly stop in. Looks like it could be a good time. You see the Japanese rat? And we have arrived at Media Feek, which is a earthquake proof building. I predict an earthquake up in here. You can see the structures here holding it all together, made of completely of glass. So this is the like pillars that hold the building up and they put elevators inside of them. So smart. So there's like a plaza at the bottom, library, library, and then the galleries on the fifth and sixth and then the studio. Which is where we're starting from. All glass building right where the park is. This is what helps in the aid of making this building earthquake proof. All the pillars. Cool little spot, awesome building. Let's head back to the malls, get some food. Pokemon Center, maybe. Isn't that right, John? Pokemon Center, definitely. John's gonna get himself a. I don't know, I'll see you when I get there, but I'm definitely gonna um, get a free Pokemon. <laughs> free 99. So I'm gonna go to this local burger joint, and John's gonna go to. Yayoi. Some crazy Japanese things that I'm not interested in. 
Bye bye. See you in 35 minutes. I haven't really had much trouble with like the language barrier, but this place called La Perilla. Really struggled to order this meal, that's for sure. I got a hamburger and chips on the way. It was like $6.30 yen. It's sort of like Hungry Jacks in Australia. Burger was good. The salt on the chips has really like got a tang to it. Mmm, that's a little salty. Yes. I'm just gonna figure out which restaurant John went into and see what he had for dinner. What'd you get? Katsu, squid, rice, and miso. How much was it all? None of it again. Yeah, it's not bad, for like 10 bucks. This mall is huge. Daniel looking at clothes in 2nd Street. I don't mind that, but it's not my size. Winciaga. Well, I'm leaving John on the nerd floor. I'm gonna go back to the room. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below any questions about Japan. Hit the like button so more people can see this video. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.